Now here is something very nice point that Krishna is beyond any material conception. Prabhupada spends time in this purport to explain this. Beyond. Because uh, you may say that we don't accept. How can we accept? Yes, the Vedic literature is Shabda Pramad. That is how we have to accept. There is no other way. Don't bring your Pratyaksha Pramad when you come to Vedic literatures. Don't waste our time. We have already, Vedic literature begins when you have decided, Athata Brahma Jigyasa, I want to know the final truth. And the common sense says, final truth cannot be understood by your gross senses. Your gross senses are defective. And on top of it, you are analyzing by your own mind. That is also defective. Uh, so the Lord can only be understood by Shabda Pramar as He reveals. He is beyond any experimental knowledge. You know, today the whole attempt by the science is to understand the truth by experimental knowledge. Go on. Go on. Then the famous statement which you say a million times, that after millions of uh, Nobel Prizes, they will come to where the Vedic literatures begin. So that is, that is the authority of the Vedic literatures. So Prabhupada, some conception of the Lord we can have by the revelation, by the great Acharyas like you know Brahma Samhita, Brahma or by the great, great Goswamis or the great Acharyas. By their revelation we can have some conception of the Lord. Uh, therefore, uh, no way we can know about the Lord unless you touch the real Guru Parampara. We can't know about the Lord. There is no way you can know the Lord. And how the Lord can be known, you know, then it is so difficult. God is beyond this material world. He says, look at my yoga Aisharam, even though the whole material world is created by me, I am beyond this world, Krishna says that. That is my uh, opulence. I am still dancing in Vaikuntha. And it is beyond the material energy, therefore he use the word apakriti, aprakriti, he is aprakriti, he is beyond the material world. He is a dhokshaja, aprakrita. Uh, beyond the material nature, beyond our uh, conception. But one of his kindness is that even though he is so great, one of his extra greatnesses, special greatness is what? He manifests himself in this world when he worship him with devotion in so many ways. And there lies the opportunity. Atashi Krishna Amadi Navaved Grahim Indriye Sevon Mukheji Bhado. When we uh, come forward without any hesitation to serve the Lord in a proper service spirit, He gradually reveals Himself. Hmm? So this is how uh, this thing is. Krishna again says in Bhagavad Gita, Bhaktiya Mahavijanati. Only by devotion service you will be able to access my presence in this world. Otherwise, if you are by experimental and you are challenged or any other way, you cannot understand me. So this is the process, you know. We have to, if you have to meet somebody, you have to find out how to meet him. You can't imagine how you want to meet him. You have to ask him. So Krishna says, if you want to meet me, if you want to contact me, bhakti. That's the way. He doesn't say karma yoga, jnana yoga. Bhakti jānāti. Take to bhakti yoga. Take to devotion service. And definitely Krishna says, I will accept it. And I will gradually reveal myself to you to the proportion of your Service attitude. Ye yathama prapadyante tamasadaiva vajam. To the degree you surrender, to that degree I reciprocate. Okay, so to the degree of our service attitude which is developed to the Lord, to that degree Krishna will be manifest to us. And there is no other way. Experimental knowledge will not lead us anywhere as far as knowing the Supreme Lord is concerned. Srila Prabhupada ki.